Hey everyone, welcome to Big with BR. What you're seeing is the new Ryobi 80 volt electric mower next to my Craftsman. Ryobi is not available in my area yet, and sorry for the shaky camera, my phone had a hard time recording. Before buying the Craftsman, I was considering a new Ryobi mower. I really like Ryobi and currently have the 18 volt and the 40 volt. Unfortunately, I just couldn't wait for it to come out, but I'm gonna cover a few things that might help you in your decision if you're waiting on it. I'm assuming you're familiar with the features. Since Ryobi is exclusive to Home Depot and Craftsman to Lowe's, I'm using their website to show pricing and availability in my general area. The mower you're looking at is virtual, so let's just get to those points. With availability, I think due to supply chain issues, they may be struggling to get it to the market. They may have limited quantities. I was really interested, and I know a lot of people probably are. My guess is they're gonna bring it out soon, but they would have brought it out sooner if they could. The next really cool thing about this mower I wanna mention is the joystick. If you're new to zero turns, this is really appealing and looks really easy to use, frees up your second hand. For me, I just wasn't sure how comfortable it would be during long mowing sessions. It looks like most of the adjustment is through the seat. If you're used to lap bars, I wonder if you're giving up some control since mowers do maneuver in tight spots. But it is kind of cool that Ryobi had chose this style, even though the industry standard might look to be lap bars. My guess is they may offer a future model with lap bars in case the joystick just doesn't convert enough people. The 80 volt battery definitely gives you a lot of power, has a nice gauge, and it has a nice handle. I am a little worried uh, about adding another platform, especially since that line is not available besides just a mower. You can get up to a five-year extended warranty. Pricing of those batteries, though, could be expensive after that warranty. For comparison, the 40 volt, seven and a half amp is going for about 250 at the time of this video. So if we're assuming 84 cents per watt, you know, you could be looking at maybe six to seven hundred dollars to replace the 80 volt battery. I'm sure uh, the new line is coming soon, and I hope to make some videos on what I think about that. Overall, the price is aligned with other electric mowers from 4K to 5K to 6K for different sizes. When I was looking, I really used my gas mower as a comparison to 42-inch Craftsman around 3K versus the 5K 42-inch Ryobi. Using just napkin math, uh, I factored batteries versus gas over five years, the time frame of the extended warranty. In my situation, I cut about seven months out of the year. Every third cut or so, I have to get uh, five gallons filled up, so about 20 bucks, about 140 a year. Um, and so if you did that over five years, that's about $700. When you factor in that price with my Craftsman, about $3,800, um, that really leaves a gap of about $1,300 for the, for the Ryobi 80 volt, the 5K model. Uh, I really do like the idea of saving gas and saving time to get gas, not having to deal with it, but it's tough to pay up front that kind of money today. Um, now it's possible the batteries will go far beyond five years and closing the gap and making the price better, but I'm still worried that the cost of batteries could stay high for years. I'm, I'm sure they, I'm not sure if they'll get cheaper. In the end, the price comes down to everybody's, everybody's personal situation. Um, your situation might be different. So in conclusion, uh, and based on a couple other reasons, I ended up going with the 42 inch Craftsman and did not wait to purchase the mower, but I'm a big fan of Ryobi. And again, I have the 18 volt, 40 volt, and I'm really looking forward to um, seeing how this mower just turns out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and be on the lookout for my next video. Thanks for watching.